to get started, um, just remember that here we're using Google Colab and we have gone to the GitHub repo for a notebook and copied the URL. And then I just said open notebook and I uh, found the 01 data types from the um, from that repo that I pasted. But um, you should be okay with finding this. I'll also share a link to the Google Colab notebook in Canvas. But this is just about a reminder on data types, all right, um, and general kind of working with the notebook. So remember that to execute a cell, we hold down Shift and hit Enter. And right out of the box that um, we can do just basic kind of math with Python is addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and exponents, four to the second power. Okay, the next thing that we talked about were different data types. We discussed the idea of strings. So strings are anything contained in quotes, either single or double quotes. All right, so for example, this is a string. And if we ever want to check what kind of a thing um, we're working with, we use this type function. So we write type, we put parentheses, and then we pass the thing that we want to know what kind of an, a Python object is that. In. And so we see that this is a string. And al alternatively, we could have numbers, a whole number, like 8. And if we look at that type, that's an int. Another kind of a number is a float, 12.3. Okay, and the difference between this and an integer is that it has a decimal. Right? But you see string, integer, and float. Last data type we're going to be worried about here is a Boolean. Whether or not something is true or false, um, well, actually, they are true or false, and they will encounter them as to um, if we want to figure out whether or not something is, the, is true or false, will be returned true or false. But these are specific types of things. They're called Booleans, and they are their own uh, data type. Now, we'll see these, for example, with things like comparisons. Okay, so if I, and there's a couple of ways that we can compare objects, whether or not we want to say, are they the same? Are they not the same? Is one thing bigger than or less than the other? Or are they bigger or less than and equal to? And that's where we get the Boolean return. So here we see is, is four the same as 4.0? True. Is four less than eight? Yes. Is five not the same as Steve? Yes. Okay, so that's the idea of our comparisons and where kind of we would see those Booleans come up. It seems maybe a little bit strange to uh, say that things are true or false, but that's how we encounter the Booleans. Additionally, with these different data types, typically what we'll do is we'll store them in variables. So here I have a variable called name and a variable called age. Once I execute that cell, I don't see anything returned because it's been stored now in this variable called name. This string is associated with name and 14 is associated with this variable called age. If I look at the type of things, name is a string and age is an int because this is a string and this is an int. And accordingly, we can do different things like we could with um, strings and integers. Since age is an integer, we can add, subtract, multiply, and divide by any number. And because name is a string, we can do string stuff. So I can tack on, um, concatenate other strings with it, for example. All right, now something we want to be careful of is we don't want to use numbers for variable names. Um, we can't have any spaces in them, and we don't want to use any built-in function names for them. 